This is Eclipse Sundays. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode of Her Talk. You are here with the lovely BP, and I am here with the wonderful ladies of the Natural, Natural Experience, Experience Hair Spa. All right, all right. Let's get into it. These ladies are absolutely wonderful. They have been working on me and my family's hair for over 15 years, and I love them dearly, and um, I, I praise their skills and their work ethic and their abilities they are all very talented and i just wanted to have a natural conversation with them today <laughs> and give you all the experience that i've been having for the last 15 years so thank you ladies thank for your you time. thank you and we love yeah. you more oh thank you darling of course of course of course i know i'm up here looking kind of special but we all gonna have that after shot for you <laughs> okay, we're gonna have the after shot for you. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to know is when did you ladies fall in love and not so much in love, but discover your talents for doing hair? And either one of y'all can start, however, you feel comfortable. Uh, I am I am Frankie Gray, and uh, I discovered the talent at the age of nine, nine years old. Awesome, nine. Mm. Yeah, was you doing doll baby's hair or? Friends' hair or what? My hair. Your hair. <laughs> <laughs> so your hair led you to yeah. this beautiful, beautiful skill that you have. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Go ahead, Erica. Tell your story. Um, I discovered doing hair at the age of 15. Worked in my first salon at 16. I just got tired of other people doing my hair. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. mm. I was tender head in. I was just like, I forced myself to learn how to do my own hair. Absolutely. Cool. I sure did. And taught yourself. Yes. Wow. It awesome. started from there, crying and all. Crying and all. <laughs> crying and all. <laughs> <laughs> what you was trying to put in your hair that made you cry? Some micro braids or what? Box braids. Box braids. Down, in to, your, my down to my butt. <laughs> in your own head. In my own head. Part. Sitting there part. Yeah. Trying to put a whole You braid. know how many days it took? How long? It took probably about three days. <laughs> Y'all, how long was she, for the girls to know, how long was she wearing that hair up in a bun until she finished? Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> now, my cousin, uh -huh. she could, I, she was the first person here I did. Uh -huh. It took me an hour to do four braids. One hour. One hour. Four. And she would talk about that to this day. Mm. So she was your first client. Yes. Well, thank you. What's her name? Aisha. Thank you, Aisha. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but we appreciate you. All right. Because the four hours was well worth it. Because honey, it anointed this girl's hands. Okay. Maya, tell me your story, baby. So I'm Maya, aka Mrs. Sexy. Uh, the reason I fell in love with hair, actually, I was 19 years old. I was back from college. And I really didn't have the money to go back to a salon. So I started to learn. And also, it was also one of those things that me and my mom shared. Mm -hmm. So every time I do hair, I feel closer to her. So that's my girl. Awesome. Awesome. So how many years would you say that you have the professional industry experience with hair? Hmm. Um, 30 years. 30 years. Awesome. Damn. Yeah. You know you good. A little over 30. <laughs> you know you good. <laughs> okay. 30 years of experience. 30 years. It's been a long 30 years as well. I, I, I haven't totally um, actually um, did hair the whole 30 years. Just part time. Sometimes mm -hmm. full time. So, yeah. But the skill set. 30 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this is something that we need to let young people know. Because some people think they can just buy a lace front. Yes. And they think they are hairdressers at that point. Or they can do <laughs> some braids that right. take four hours. And right. now they're a professional. Right. One oh, hour. God. Yeah. Oh, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Four so braids. Four braids. And one hour. Yeah. Okay. Wigs, though, okay. We're not knocking the We're not knocking. No, we're not knocking anything. But that does not make you a professional. Exactly. I, I will say, I will say this. When you discover a... A talent, mm -hmm. it's a gift, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it comes naturally to you, whether you discover it um baby doll's hair or just messing around someone's hair, that's actually a gift. Mm-hmm. You know, a gift from the most high. It's just not like some people have to learn how to do it. And that's awesome too. But, you know, naturally when you have a gift, you just know it. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I, I believe mine was a gift. <laughs> exactly. A gift. It was like really easy. And then, you know, along the way, um, my um my aunt, um, she taught me some some in and outs, you know, and it was just like I picked up on it like real quickly. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. The rest is history. That's right. It writes itself. Yeah. What about you, Erica? Um I would say 28 years. I almost lost the question for a minute. <laughs> <I> <laughs> it's did. okay. But 28 yeah, 28 years. years. I worked in my first salon when I was 16. Um, it was a unisex salon at that. Mm-hmm. I, you don't find unisex salons around here no more. So I couldn't deal with the chemicals, but I was able to do natural hair. So I just been doing natural hair all my life. Um, I tried to relax a thing. I just couldn't, I don't know. I could do it real good, but I just needed to pass by on that because I started doing a whole lot of research and found out them relaxers was not helping our heads. Right. Mm -hmm. Like whatsoever. So you stuck with natural hair for the last, well, 15 plus years, 20 plus years. Pro pro natural hair for since cause cancer. How long have you been doing? How long have you been professionally doing hair, Maya? I've been professionally doing hair for 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. Awesome. So, see, you guys, Dirty Talk family, Her Talk family, we have here 28, 20, 30 plus. We got 10. You add all those numbers together. That's a lot of experience. That's what, 40, 50, 60, 60 years of experience combined. You know, that's a lot. That's a lot. And that's that's something to be said. Nothing yeah. worth doing comes easy or quickly. You learn and you build upon it. So your gifts and your talent build upon it and then become great. So another thing I wanted to ask you, ladies, and you kind of went into this a little bit. Why only natural hair and not the quick fix perm cut color situations that people kind of do just to cover up and mask? Why natural hair? Um, I will say uh, that uh, is is more healthier. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, let me let me rephrase that because <laughs> no hair is healthy if you don't take care of it. Exactly. <laughs> but exactly. I will say. The chemical side part of it is not good for your your scalp. Um, so that part of it, um, I feel like natural hair is better for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, it has its pros and cons. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I, we are pro-natural for the salon and we are into healthy hair and healthy scalp. First and foremost, you know. And hairstyle and everything else comes later, you mm-hmm. know. But uh, we take pride in what we do. We try, we try to get the um, hair back to its healthy state if they come in terminal, you know what I'm saying. But um, the the chemical just as like, uh, makes things even worse and it brings on uh, uh problems with your scalp and hair in the long run Mm -hmm. yeah and you're right because now they have this lawsuit lawsuit out about uh people that have used chemicals and now have cancer yes so especially in the black community um ladies you know this is just cautionary tale be careful you know be careful with how you treat your hair yeah um because it can affect you uh internally yeah absolutely um also, the, the young kids or children that get hair, it uh, mess with their neurology growth. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And that's a fact. Wow. <laughs> Over so, time, it's going to damage yeah. them follicles, you know. Wow. So I do think, you know, and believe, well, no, it's just this, 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 um, proven fact as well. Uh, chemicals, a lot of uh, African Americans, have uh, alopecia and study says 
like uh, a lot of studies. You hear a lot of them, but I just feel like um, it comes from the chemicals. And every client that we have that has dealing with alopecia or hair loss, they had chemicals. Mm -hmm. um, or stress. Well, yeah, or stress. That is an, mm -hmm. another number one cause of hair loss as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Go ahead, expound on it, please. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> What was the question again? <laughs> why natural hair? Yeah, why natural okay. hair? <laughs> okay. She's silly. I don't know. I always had a thought in my mind, like, just, I always felt like just love the way God made you. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love you it. know? Mm -hmm. And you know, we hear people say, oh, everybody cannot wear natural, yeah. or, oh, everybody, oh, I even took a class where somebody said, Natural hair is unhealthy. I didn't even I didn't even have the a dispute then. I just sat there and I just sat there in the class and just listened. I was like, wow, I ain't never heard that before. You know. Natural hair. That's basically you saying so what God made is very unhealthy. Wow. Well, so, I tell you, yeah, I'm sorry. Mm, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was letting her finish. Oh. Uh you Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, natural hair is unhealthy. And I was just like, mm -hmm. that just kind of blew my mind. Because that's the first thing that came to my mind is, how is natural hair unhealthy if that's the way God made it? Mm. So, I mean, just the relaxing thing didn't do it, do it for me. And I was wanting to get into it so bad after cosmetology school. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I'm going to start doing relaxes. This and, that. and then all the experiences, it's like that I had with it. Even when I had my first relaxer, mm -hmm. somebody inexperienced did my relaxer. Mm -hmm. I think this one in relaxes traumatized me. And she just did my roots. You know, she think I need to touch it. Mm -hmm. I ain't never had a relaxer. So you can imagine what that looked like. Straight roots and mm, kinky yeah, sure. ends. Right. She was like, oh, no, I thought, I thought she had her hair. I thought she just needed a touch up. I had sores all in my head. Mm. It was just, it was a mess. Honey, y'all know about them box perms, so don't even play like this conversation <laughs> getting Dark getting dull. Lovely. You know, right. and you know <laughs> about them burn. They know about them chemical burns. Yeah, they know that stuff hurt. They know when they go put their head under that water. <laughs> okay. Honey, so stop playing. Like, don't act like y'all know. Like stabbing your scalp. Oh yeah. my God, yeah. it was horrible. Honey, what and you talking about? Was stuck to your head. My yeah. hair was stuck to my head. It then you was. had to use the oil sheen to try to pull yeah. it. Girl, I, trust me, I done done it to myself. Okay. <laughs> now, I do. One thing I did learn about relax is like when somebody did get a chemical burn, thanks to Marva from Simply Marvelous, yes. <laughs> she taught me to put Marva. antiseptic on it. And it cools everything down. Oh, wow. Any little sores, anything. It just like, it cools the whole entire head down. Mm. I hope that wasn't a secret. <laughs> well, it's out now, and some of y'all girls who doing these parts, you need it. So, yeah, use a little bit of antiseptic. That's yeah. coming from her talk, okay? <laughs> so, what do you think, Maya, about the um, natural hair versus what's what we're seeing now um, in our culture? Um, well, first of all, everything that they said, but to go into depth, I have eczema, mm -hmm. so it's in my scalp. And when I would get relaxers, the water would hit my head. It was like bee stings. My scalp would bleed. My scalp would ooze. My hair would be stuck to my scalp. Mm. Just miserable. My hair got really, really thin. And then one day I cut it off in hair school. And I loved the way that it looked. Mm -hmm. It made me look beautiful. Mm -hmm. I felt beautiful. I didn't feel like everybody else. Right. I looked like Shamaya. Mm -hmm. um, that really got me. And also just breaking the traditional bounds. Your hair has to be straight in order for you to get this job. Mm. Or your hair has to be straight in order for you to model. Your hair has to be straight in order for you to fit in. I'm not trying to fit in. I don't want to work for people like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to be me. Right. I deserve to be me. That's and right. another thing is teaching our young girls that is beautiful. Yes. Your curls are beautiful. Yes. And your hair is not nappy. Stop teaching your little girls that their hair is nappy. Right. 
Right. Girl, I need to get that kitchen, honey. I can't even run my cone. <laughs> because you don't take the time to water, to moisturize, and take your time with your daughter's hair. It's a time of bonding. Yes, mm -hmm. and detangle. And detangling. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's a time of impartation. Like... I love when I do my daughter's hair. My daughter loves it now because, honey, I used to yank my daughter's hair. I was like, Ugh! but I had to calm that down. But that's why I'm into natural because I feel like me. Mm -hmm. I look like me, me. Yeah, exactly. you know, and when my daughter looks at me, she sees herself. When I look at my daughter, I see me. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, awesome. And that was beautiful. Thank you. It was. Yes. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I was going to give you all a quick story about me and my hair experience. So I have two daughters who have only had natural hair and they've been coming to my family here ever since my oldest was five years old. And so, and now she's 22. So I believe in giving your daughters an opportunity to make that choice for themselves on how they would like their hair to look, but giving them the proper tools and the proper training and put them around women who can teach them how to love their hair, mm -hmm. love who they are Absolutely. and, and yes. love what they look like. Right. You know, first, before you just slap a perm in their head at age five or six and tell them run with that. Right. Okay. okay. And yes, then with myself, I am from the eighties. So I done had the jerry curve. <laughs> Wave Nouveau, right. perms, I done had the uh, straightening, I done went through all of that. And about four years ago, I was actually, had beautiful hair, but I cut it all off and wanted to see myself. You know, of course, Hap Napoli Ever After kind of helped with that, which is the movie where uh, uh, Sanaya yeah. cut all her mm -hmm. hair off. Absolutely. But I wanted to see me. I needed to see me. I needed to know that I was beautiful with or without hair. I needed I needed something to reassure me of my womanhood and of my ethnicity. So I cut all my hair off and wore a bald head for two years. Then during COVID, I just started growing my hair back. And in the last couple of years, my hair is all the way down to my shoulders. So I stick with natural hair now because being around these ladies, I've learned to just fall in love with me appreciate me of course i'm probably gonna get a nice little blowout from time to time but right now i, I wear my braids I, I wear you know some of the weave in the braids and stuff just to switch it up but it has definitely um boosted my self-esteem and made me feel better as as an african-american woman to see who i really am so power to the people and, uh, <laughs> I, I will say um it's a preference it is a preference and uh just to touch bases on what uh, Erica said, um, whoever made the comment about uh, everybody can't wear natural hair, uh, our ancestors and um, our parents, if it wasn't for them having to look a certain way to get a job, they would still embrace their natural hair. But because of that, that um, changed up a whole lot for um us and today's children and uh, a lot of children instead of loving their self they feel like they have to have the long hair mm -hmm. the straight hair uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh bohemian hair or persuasion uh, mm -hmm. what is it <laughs> persuasion that's what it is persuasion <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah to, to fit in and, and and I think it starts from home because myself, I taught my children how to love them and their natural hair and embrace it to whereas you have another mother that didn't. All they did was have relaxed hair. So when they had children, they follow the footsteps, so they don't know how to embrace their natural hair. All they know is mommy has uh, uh, relaxed hair and that's what I want. They never had a chance to embrace the natural hair that they were born with. Mm -hmm. um, so there again, it is a preference, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I think it was a, a game changer from when our um, our ancestors and I, our mothers had to look away to get a certain job or not make uh, the other culture upset about the way we were made mm -hmm. um so so just to capitulate we right. had to switch it up absolutely mm -hmm. and i feel like if that wasn't um uh, a must mm -hmm. they would all embrace what 
you know, our African ancestors. Look how beautiful it, the designs that we had, like as far as cornrows, we could do so much, like just do your research on it. It was just very like beautiful art, you know, art. you know, very uh, creativity, unique. the uniqueness. But you know, I will say having natural hair, you can blow out and have straight hair and you can revert back to your natural hair but if you have relaxed hair you can't revert back to natural hair yeah you gotta cut it all out yeah you gotta cut it, it all, all out. out wow and yeah. i'm glad that you said that because let's talk about this people don't know the art side yeah. of natural hair Absolutely. you speak of the corn rolls and and the different designs and things of that nature but y'all give me some hairstyles that people can wear with natural hair that they may not even know about oh we said it earlier bantu knots bantu knots knot. yes. two strand twist two strand twist, twist. twist. coil 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 two strand flat, flat twist. twist flat twist mm -hmm. you can uh, even I'm, box braid your own hair yeah absolutely box braid your own make hair. it wavy make it curly you can style the individual twist and the braid and then hmm. you can do a, a a twist out twist out a braid out braid mm -hmm. out or afro just or right afro. Afro. Now. Okay. Your, your <laughs> healthy your treatments and your trims are on a regular six to eight weeks you know you all can embrace your natural hair just you know just like you have to keep up relaxers mm -hmm. you know um your treatments and your trims uh take the time not be lazy detangle your hair at night put them in big sections and um save your ends so, you know, uh, I will tell you this for everyone that doesn't know out there, uh, when you detangle your hair, dampen your hair. It saves you from uh, breakage. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, you talking about dampening it while detangling? Yeah, de when you detangle your hair. Yeah, it saves no. you from breakage yes. and ripping your ripping hair. Your hair. And, and hair loss all together, mm -hmm. and it's less painful. And work from the ends to the root. Roots. Stop brushing from yeah. the root to the end. As mm. as, as you, we we would call it, or our uh, mothers would call it, you just raked your hair. You just combed over. You just combed over. See, y'all missing these tips. Let me give them to you one more time. She said, get your trim and treatment six to eight weeks, right? right. Then she said, use some water to dampen your hair, okay? And brush it from the what now? From the ends to the roots. <laughs> from the ends, ends to, to the, the roots. roots. You just got three tips right here from these girls. And honey, <laughs> let me tell you something. Them tips will save your life. And, and that way you can start rocking your natural, natural experience. experience. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get into the fun part. Because we're going to wind down. But the fun part of it is this. How long have you ladies known each other? And oh. how did you form this cohesive business partnership <laughs> that you have? Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody tell me the yeah, story. Where Somebody tell me the story. It's the tools to the game. Yeah, do, I, do I start with her? Yeah, who you start with? Start, I'm going to start with Maya. Okay, start with when Maya. When I first met Maya, mm -hmm. it was, I can tell you the exact date. It was March 1st, 2010. Mm -hmm. And I sat right next to her. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that she was going to be married to my nephew. <laughs> 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 Where was y'all at? Where was y'all at when y'all met each other? Cosmetology school. Cosmetology school. Yeah, we was. I read no read that again for the people in the back. Regency, Regency Beauty Institute. All yeah. right. Yeah. Shout out to Regency. I had no idea. <laughs> it, it just like it just happened. It's just like I just she just I just took her up under my wing. You. Mm -hmm. you know, I already had the salon mm -hmm. and I was going to school full time and. It was just, we just connected ever since. He did. Oh, she's, so the, did. she's the reason I even got my license. Like, Natrell helped me, of course, but mm -hmm. she's the reason I even got my driver's license. I used license, to put her y behind the wheel. The I driver's license. Driver's so license. this go way back. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real story. This is a yes. family story. Okay. Awesome. Uh, awesome. And it's crazy because I don't know why I did that. Cause she almost killed us. <laughs> like, like, but she like, didn't have life. <laughs> she, I mean, I yeah, did. cause no, I did. <laughs> she was stepping on a stepping on a gas because uh -huh. she thought it was the brake. Mm -hmm. 
And then we were so close. I know. To the back of that car. <laughs> we thank you for your protection, God. Yes, we do. That is how that I didn't even scream. I just <laughs> held on. Like, I mean, like it was what, just what, what is really going on? Right. <laughs> I wow. didn't even scream. And y'all been Ooh, fam you. y'all been family and thank business you, partners. <laughs> business partners ever since so tell me how you <laughs> met trina or trina tell me how you met erica and how y'all became to be well i let her start that one <laughs> i'm just gonna not give everything but i will say give it all erica and i knew of each other's five years six years five years five before, before, we, before met. we even met each other mm -hmm. so we have two um creatures that connect to both of us. Uh -huh. Two had, creatures. They were two. They were both my clients. Two, two creatures. Creatures. And, and they kept saying, you need to meet her. They was like, you need to meet her because y'all so Kill much aliens. alike. Kill <laughs> Wait a minute. Creatures, though. Creatures. 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 Yes. We're two cre we're creatures. They're beautiful creatures. But they <laughs> they uh, they couldn't they kept saying y'all need to meet each other, meet each other. Uh-huh. So at at the early years of my life mm -hmm. I was connected and still is today to the two creatures that she met later on um in their life mm -hmm. and they were saying the same thing to both of us you need to be her y'all so much like I think y'all be great together out of this and you know I'm <laughs> I ain't, you know, really wanted to go there. I'm like, yeah. Okay. That's why I took five you know. years. Mm -hmm. So, I know, you know, I, it, it came up again. The, um, it kept the, coming the, up. The conversation came up again. Mm -hmm. And I was in living in Greensboro at this time. And, uh, you know, I was like, I want to go full time. Mm -hmm. I want to go back full time. So, I was like, so this, um, this preacher said, uh, give her a call. Uh -huh. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to pray on it. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, I, I'm in tune with God. I'm spiritual, you know. So I listen. Five years later, <laughs> five, it took five years, but you know, hey. So um, she she had her um little spot down at the Hill Business Center, mm -hmm. and um, I know in my heart, you know, so you know, God said, go go down there, you know. Wow. And I I went down there, introduced myself, you know, and um. And first, she was like, oh, look at her. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how Eric is. Yes. And uh, we, we talked and everything. But then uh, I put my little two cents in about some things she was doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she ain't like me anymore. <laughs> Y'all want me to tell you what it was? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was doing hell. And I had to answer the phone. I could have been on the phone with a client. And she took, she come down there one day. She all by this time she was already ready visiting me a few times. Uh huh. And she came down there one day because I always I always thought she was stylish and everything. I was like, dang, this girl could dress. Uh huh. And she was like, you ain't supposed to be on the phone. Why are you doing here? Oh oh oh! I looked at her like, who this girl think she is? Yeah. In my salon, telling you you ain't supposed to be on the phone. Yeah, it, and right there, I was just kind of iffy about her. <laughs> I, like, I don't know about working with her. Because by that time, she was already wanting us to do a hair show together. Mm -hmm. But she wanted us to do it together, you know, as running a business. But, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh -huh. I didn't know how to... I'm not a person that reach out and this and that. So she just kind of went with it with her own. And we just kind of... I just kind of did it with her instead of us doing it together. Uh huh. But uh, I will say, timing is everything, mm -hmm. and God knows before anybody knows what he, what he was doing, what he had in place, because you know from the stories, Erica had some issues in one portion of her life, mm. and she was like, "I'm glad that you didn't meet me." That, and at I'm the type point. of person. It probably wasn't good that I met her. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I wasn't you know. a lovable person. So, and I'm love. I love. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hugger. I love people. And, um, yeah, it probably would have been an issue. But, you know, it's crazy because all these many years we knew of each other and, like, cross paths and just never linked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I knew 
that this young, beautiful, talented creature mm -hmm. was loyal because in the intro, me putting the show together, everybody dropped out. Everybody dropped out the show. Yeah. And she came to my apartment and she was going to drop out too. Mm -hmm. And I said, the show must go on. Mm -hmm. I was going to do the show by myself. And she was like, nah. Nah, we gotta get some people. Mm -hmm. She ain't really, she ain't know me like that. She didn't, but it, it did something to my heart because she, she ain't had to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she sat there and she was like, "We gotta get somebody. We gotta get somebody in the show." And I was like, "I was calling people. <laughs> it was crazy. And then nobody wanted to participate. You know what I'm saying? And it was cool. I was like, the show was going on because this is my baby. Yeah. You know, God gave this to me. I left my job. <laughs> to do this. Yeah. yeah. I walked out on it, on faith. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I was like, dang. This, this be wild. You know, this, this young woman. I was like, why ain't nobody? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So from there on, I knew she was a good person. You know, and later, years later, we became business partner, and we've been rocking it. And I will say, she's my ride or die. That's right. She my left All hand, right deep. hand, and I, you know, I could never thank and be grateful enough for her. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The loyalty, the trustworthy on both sides. And she, I'm older than her. I'm a lot older than her, <laughs> but she still. I mean, you can learn from. The baby, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It doesn't anyone. matter. And we just balance each other. We balance each other so, so much. On, we, and we have seen each other grow. Mm -hmm. We and have been through so much. So like, tell me this. Tell me this. What's the rules the for rules. the rules the for rules. engagement? The components. The components of being business partners. Is transparency, loyalty, trustworthy. And communication. Y'all hear that? Communication. Transper transparency, loyalty, uh, transpar transparency, loyalty, trustworthy, and communication. And communication. You can't be afraid to speak. And, you know, we might get down, dirty, whatever, and it's all good. And we have to accept it and be mature about the situation for whatever reason it is. Because it ain't been no roses, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. peaches and cream. But we can say and be respectful of one another's opinions, what we have to say, and we move right along. Like, we still going to eat and, and chop it up and laugh in seconds after. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we don't, you can't let that interfere. And you got to have each other's back. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm telling you, she has had my back. I've been sick. I've been going through hard times. She has had my back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I can't thank her for another. I and mean, it's not like, okay, you owe me. I owe you or whatever. The business must run and the show must go on. You know. Period. So if you don't have that. I wouldn't even like first even think about even going in the business with nobody, like period, because uh -huh. is it is gonna fail. And a lot of business partners they fail because of money. They fail because of money. I want to add one yeah. in there. Well, go ahead and add one. You in have there. to be able to take constructive yeah, criticism. You do. Take constructive, constructive criticism. You have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, especially yeah. in the business, it's like in the business, it's like some people, ooh. You know what? I don't mean change subject. Oh. Look, but that just reminds me of like there's so many clients that cannot be honest with their stylists. Mm -hmm. They are scared. They paying for the hairstyle, but they scared to say, I don't like this part. Mm -hmm. I don't like that part. This it's like they, they are afraid. They they will leave here and go home and change their whole entire hairstyle. And they will put wow. your name out there. And then bring your name drag your name, name through the mud, through the mud mm. because you didn't speak up. Okay, ladies. So I wanted to get into some of your other business ventures, like your clothing line. Tell me a little bit about it, baby. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I started this clothing line, this brand, when she smiles, mm -hmm. right here. When she smiles. Should I pick it up? When she smiles, you see it? When she smiles. Yes. When she smiles. So, 
So not only it's not just for women, it's for men too. It's mm-hmm. for men also. So when she make smiles, smile. when she <laughs> smiles and happy, he smiles. I <laughs> you know, know right? <laughs> so um, I did, you know, put it on pause for a minute, but I'm getting ready to stride again, and I'm coming back out with vengeance. vengeance. Mm-hmm. And um, so stay tuned, and you can. Uh, I will uh, be on. Facebook, Instagram, what else? Is that it? Facebook and Instagram. So what's what's your handles? Facebook. Is, mm-hmm. Yeah, your name. Put your name out there. Is it when so she's? Yes. Yeah, yeah. when she smiles. It's when she smiles. Yeah, when okay. She smiles. And um, yeah. So it'll be from. I have from t-shirts to um, flowing like flowing clothes. I love flowing clothes. Make mm-hmm. you feel free. You oh know? yes, they do. Um. <laughs> I love the t-shirts, the hats, you know, men and women, loungewear, um, and um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. It'll be coming, like, really, real soon for the summer, so um, keep your eyes and ears open, because when she smiles, come back on the map. All right, all right. I love it. I love it. And what's going on with you, Erica, with this uh, alkaline water situation? <laughs> yeah. Actually, we just got an alkaline water machine. Um, what we're getting ready to do is that if you have your own gallon bottle, you could come fill up for three dollars a gallon, and also it creates um everybody. Well, I ain't gonna say everybody know, but. The hair, nails, and skin is 4.5 to 5.5 pH level. So it creates that pH level also. So we usually put that in our spray bottles, you know, because the pH level of the tap water is around a 7 and 8. So that's really high and on the hair to where it kind of dries the hair out. I mean, that's what conditioners made for because it brings your hair back to its normal pH level. Mm-hmm. So... Anybody who want to come fill up, just give us a call and make sure we here. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, can they, how can they find you? Is it through the Natural Experience on Instagram? Yeah, or? on okay. Facebook, you could go to the Natural Experience Hair Spa page. Um, our address is 218B Century Boulevard, Kernersville, North Carolina. Okay, that phone oh, 336-770-5386. <laughs> All right, all right. Maya, tell us what you got going on, babe. So, well, I'm sorry. I just have to say shout out to the stay-at-home moms. I love you. Keep pushing. Keep going. You're beautiful. You're great. You are making beautiful people, number one. Mm-hmm. And I am currently, I have an online business, and it is vegan-based products. We can go from makeup to skincare to pet products to car products to health, nutrition, wellness, debt relief. Hmm. Okay, I'm doing quite a bit. Um, you can find my page on Instagram. It's simply Mrs. Bexy. That's M R Z B E X Y. On Facebook is Mrs. M I Z Z E Z Bexy. Hmm. Uh, that's where you can find me. And I'm also on the Natural Experience Spa page. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. So please tap into the Instagrams, the Facebooks, and everything that these ladies have shared with you and support their businesses because that's what her talk is all about. We are supporting black women and we are supporting entrepreneurs and we are supporting love. Absolutely. Got to support love. Are you watching your clients? No, because the pH level is too high. It is shampoo. And it's shampoo. That's correct terminology. Yeah, if we don't say wash. You wash clothes and hands. You you shampoo hair. And your hands. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thank you so and, and come check us out because we give like an awesome million dollar shampoo. Yeah. You want to sit in yeah. the chair, the shampoo bowl. Yes, honey. We're not regret it. Tell them with the, with the chairs that lean back with your feet up, just like in a yeah. movie theater, like this, baby. This how you get your hair washed. <laughs> this how you sit under the dryer. Shampoo. Okay? Shampoo. 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 This, shampoo. Yeah, how you get your hair shampoo, not yeah. wash. Shampoo. Let me use the correct terminology. Oh, okay? we stimulate the scalp, baby. You yes, you know. do. We skim, stimulate the scalp. I yeah. wanted to add something in there. Yeah. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. I I just became certified for micro needling and nano infusion. So um that's coming soon. Um and also facials will be here probably end of the summer yeah. as well. So please be on the lookout for that as well. I will be doing the micro needling for um hair growth. You know, a lot of people know micro needling for the face and the skin and everything. But I will be focusing on hair growth for now. So that will be coming soon. And also we're adding in hand massages to go along with your service. Because the whole point of this is for relaxation. So many women and men are under a lot of stress. This is your time. We value your time. We value as a human being. And we value the money that you spend with us. Mm -hmm. We are a very open book and we are transparent with our clients. You have the right to say, I don't like this style. You have the right to say, I'm not comfortable. You have the right to give me a call after the service and say, hi, can you fix this? That is our job. So Mm -hmm. please do not be afraid to reach out to us. We will happily love to see you in our salon. That's right. And she did say ladies and men. They do do men's hair as well. And um, before we leave and... and yeah, we. I wanna. I wanna get. I wanna touch on that. I want you to give your name again and give your specialty, so that people will know exactly what they can call you and contact you for. I'm Frankie Gray, and I specialize in locks, micro locks, Winnie braids, <laughs> Winnie braids. Check out the uh, Facebook page. Winnie braids are up there, but uh, locks. Um, micro lock installation, um, interlock and retighten, retwist styles, updo, whatever you need. Just come check me out for a full blown lock tissue. Awesome. And me, Erica, <laughs> yeah. aka Eli V. That's right. <laughs> I specialize in locks and I love doing natural hair care. So that's what I specialize in. That's awesome. All. Awesome. <laughs> and, and what about you, Maya? Maya, a.k.a. Mrs. Bexy. I specialize in children's hair. Yes, I said it. I do children's hair. I have patients. Yay! Um, <laughs> Thank you, because this yes. is not over here. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Children's hair. Yes. And also, I specialize I in braids. All types mm-hmm. of braids. Small, big. Uh, and I also specialize in hair care. Yes, we all do hair care, but that is the biggest thing that I push first. Yes. You have to have the proper foundation. Yes. That's right. A proper foundation. Before so, any additive. Before any <laughs> additive. Don't don't make your hair look cute and then when you take it out, honey, it's yeah. damaged. That's Absolutely. not what we about over here. At the Man, natural at the natural experience but um, i did want to say thank you so much to these wonderful ladies we appreciate you we appreciate your time and your services it has been an awesome conversation and to my her talk family thank you so much for tuning in until next time peace 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 thank you Brittany. you're welcome we appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> all right Tune in to Dirty Talk Podcast 336 for more of Her Talk.